Claude, can you see it all right? Yes, we can. All right, great. So thank you all again for joining today's webcast. Uh, we are pretty excited to launch a uh, extension of our services around NTAC, and one of the most asked for was having an integration tool with NTAC. And since we have been working with them for years now, it was time for us to have this adapter in place. Uh, there have been many use cases ever since we have launched our services around NTAC and a lot of the features that we have built in and those of you who are technical enough would start to appreciate it quite a bit on solving how to get data in and out from databases, CSV files into NTAC or cloud-based applications like Salesforce or Microsoft CRM in and out of NTAC. So there are a lot of use cases, uh, you know, database export import, CRM integration, data migration. Uh, a lot of times we get a questions around e-commerce. Uh, with a project management tool set within NTAC, we have time and billing integration questions. But most, uh, more than often, we get always uh, data warehousing and BI projects. So if you have NTAC, if you have Salesforce, if you have other cloud application along with on-premise op uh, applications, how can I get all the data into one place and be able to report around it? So in today's um, demo, we will show DB Sync, how to get started with it, and also uh, how to import and export data and some of the very neat features that we have added in. So let me get to a website first. Uh, to get started, first thing you all have to do is register for free trial. It's absolutely no cost, and during your evaluation process, we do provide in-person support. So once you go to www.mydbsync.com, you can click on register for free, free trial, so in the, uh, fill in your information, and you'll be email back with a username password and access to our system with 30 days license. Uh, just make sure that you select one of these as intact in the drop down list. To have a quick understanding of how the application is set up, if you click on the product section, uh, this picture kind of communicates how the different stacks are built into our integration platform. We can run both on-demand as well as on-premise. And the way the engine works is it uses a set of business libraries or processes, uh, either from our library or you can create custom, which would take information from any one of these adapters and then push and pull so that it can move data across. It's pretty easy to use if you have used any ETL tool. Uh, it's very similar in nature, and the whole idea is to have you get up and running pretty quickly. To understand more about what we do with Intact, you can go to the Intact section and see what are the functionalities available. So we do support most of the features in uh, the Intact API as well as objects. With that, once you get your username and password, you can log in to our application. Once you log in, you know, you'll see a dashboard in terms of what are the different steps to get the processes running. One is certainly you have to purchase the adapter once 30 days are expired. By default, you do get 30 days. You can select a process uh, intact. We don't have any pre-built processes, but we are working on building like a data warehouse template where you can export intact into a database for your use. And then you can launch it, schedule it, and run your application. So let's go ahead and see what the application looks from inside. Once you log in, this is our integration console, and you come into a profile section. The way you can think about a profile is any functional area integration or application to application or business process integration. So if you want to do order to invoice, 
process that could be a profile which can read from one application and write to a database, for example, or vice versa. You can pretty much control. So in this case, I have you know, Salesforce to SQL Server or Salesforce to Great Plains. More so, we'll be looking at NTAC and how it's set up. Once you have set it up, we have a built-in scheduler piece where you can schedule the processes that we have built at whatever frequency. So it comes prepackaged with everything that you need to run your integration. We have another section which is process templates. Uh, as I mentioned, we don't have one ready, but as soon as we have it ready, we'll let you know. And you'll find it in here, and all you have to do is select that and click on Add, Add Now. All the templates that we build, we don't charge for it. It comes along with the application. Once you add, this whole template gets installed in your profile. So let's look at what happens within the profile. Once you get into a profile, you pretty much define your endpoints. In this case, intact and databases. These are two that we would connect to. Editing it would take you to the configuration and pretty much you have to use the same login information that you need and intact. You can take the defaults on the others and click on validate. Validate makes sure that connectivity is good between your network or a cloud app into intact and there's no problem. The same thing you would do with your database. In this case, we are using a MySQL instance. And you just pretty much point it to it and again, click on Validate. So once you have done that, you can create multiple processes here. And we'll open up one of the processes. And you can see a process is, consists of multiple steps. And you start and you end. And in between, you have you can move from database, your master database, for customers into intact customers or contacts. More so, you know, your database, e-commerce database into invoice and intact, or intact invoice downloading into a database. So you, you can model and have as many steps as you need. You can activate, deactivate them as needed. So in this case, we can deactivate all or activate one and save it. So you don't have to rewire and break the linkages to do so. You can pretty much activate and activate by the steps. So what we would do a demo and I would like to explain to you what is going to happen behind the scene. And this is a very classical problem that you'll always see and folks who have done integration in the group joining in today would really appreciate what we have done. In most of the cases, uh, data coming from in-house ERP or e-commerce is a flat structure, either a database table or a CSV. So if you have an invoice 111, you'll see multiple line items based on the uh, how many line items are in the invoice. But in intact world, which is very XML business document centric, we have to group these and move it across. We have an extremely simple way to do this, and pretty much in minutes you can achieve this. Normally in the traditional integration world, this takes hours and day, you know, weeks and months to get it all built in. In our case, it's pretty easy to do it, as you'll see. The next case we'll show is how to expo extract data from intact into your database tables. Here, what we have done is, again, something very unique and interesting, is we have built a SQL-like language on top of intact. So if you know databases, you would pretty much easily do select star from intact table with filters. This translates into intact XML, and you'll get back a response. And then you'll perform the XML mapping, and then we stream it back into your database extremely simple. You don't have to mess around with what the XML structures are in the intact API or otherwise. Let's go back and have a look at 